Amen. I realize that the best thing Jesus did for the disciples was that he taught them. He didn't lay hand on them every day. He was teaching them every day. This looks like simple things, but it will shape your destiny. Lift up your hand wherever you are. I say, Lord, whatever you want me to pay attention to, I will pay attention to it. Go ahead. Whatever you want me to pay attention to, I will pay attention to that. I will not explain them away. Bible said David behaved himself wisely. He behaved himself wisely. Say from today, I will behave wisely. People will see wisdom in my walk. In Jesus' name we pray. Do you know for some people, the problem they have is that you can't keep information in their hand. Everybody will hear. They will go and meet you and say, ah, so, 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 like Baja said, this, don't tell anybody. Some people, when they hear people talking, they want to hear what they are saying. They never stay where God placed them. See, whatever you have had tonight, don't think it's simple because don't waste 120 days fasting over a bad character. I will stay with God for 120 days only for you to my father the Lord told me something he said not many people know how to maintain favor you open door for them but they can't stay in that house they will soon chase them out of the door because of their attitude there are people that come to your life you don't wish they live and there are people that come to your life you regret you ever met them choose the one you will be and can I tell you something Romans 12 God can't do this for you. See, it's, it's not what prayer can do. Discipline is what you will do. Huh? There are fruits of the Spirit. If you pray in tongues, there are things that come out. But there are fruits of discipline also. You learn some things. They didn't put it in you, you put it in yourself. You see, I make up my mind I'm going to be a different person. Especially when people have been talking about it. Say, this area, pay attention to it. That area, pay attention to it. Don't say this is the way my face looks. No. Amen, somebody. <laughs> Lift up your hand and give thanks. <laughs> Amen. Impartation of the Spirit of God in wisdom. First Samuel 18. So David went out wherever saw sent him and behaved out wisely. And so set him over the men of war. He was distinguished because he behaved himself wisely and he was accepted in the sight of all the people and also in the sight of Saul's servants. Not because he was anointed but because he knows how to deal with people. In the corporate world you call it human what? Human relation. But David behaved himself wisely. Don't forget that Esther was not the most beautiful girl. She came from the worst of the background. The Bible says she pleased the people. She pleased. There's a difference between being favorable and pleasing people. To please means you have a character that people love when they see it. Every other girl, when they are going, they choose what they want. But when it came to the turn of Esther, she said, excuse me, sir, what would you like me to take? Do you know we have people who think for you? They can even cook, put food on fire for you and say, mommy, because they want to eat rice, they cook rice for everybody in the house. Just because they can't wait and say, hey, excuse me, what should we eat today? He behaved himself wisely. There's something we must know about David. David did not stand up because somewhere poured oil on him. David stood out because he knows how to behave himself wisely. There are people that don't know how to behave wisely. Have you been to a house before? They gave you a cup of milk that says you should go and make tea yourself. 
Oh. You don't drink milk in your father's house. But in this place, you take five spoons. And, the, you know, now, the, the owner of the house knew that this cup of milk in this house before you came used to take us two weeks. So now, they are now keeping things for you. You have lost favor because you don't know how to behave wisely. When you got job in that place, you met your boss's office always open. But all of a sudden, your boss now forgets to lock his door. You come back to the office and lock his door and take the key. You notice to want to open to drop a file, the door was locked. You have done something. You better go and apologize because you have not behaved wisely. Maybe you have picked a file you are not supposed to pick. Maybe someone has told your boss that, you know, I, 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 I can be a project student of a, of a lecturer and you will see result or exam that, your, that the man set. You are not really in that class. Only for you to write them down and pass it. And the man will know that you are the one that leaked the exam. David behaved himself wisely. How many has lost open door because they refuse to behave wisely? Have you been in a position before that you do something? You don't know how you do it. And people are looking at you like you are smart. When, and you'll be looking at yourself like, it's not because I'm smart. Though. Even me, I don't know I do. That's what is called the spirit of wisdom. You are in a T-junction. You don't know who to ask. You turn right. Only for you to get to that destination and realize that that's the junction you are supposed to turn. And they ask you, how do you know the place? He said, no, I don't know. Something told me that is the spirit of wisdom. Spirit of wisdom is not, Allah, Niki Muka, it's you Niki Muka. And probably by the time you did like that, what you chose was right. You now say, ah, anytime I'm in example and I don't know it, I just say, God said I should choose. Devil said I should choose. But what God said I should choose, that is what I will choose. See? You know, say that. See? And there's somebody who studied deep and he looked at it, especially in jam. Eh? 19.91 B 18.99 You see all of them. Then you use like four different formulas and the answers are there. And you are looking which one will I choose? Which one will I choose? Which one will I choose? Your heart goes for A. You didn't choose A. You left it. You got outside. And you are talking with your friends. Hey, number so, 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 so. What is the answer? They will not say A is the answer. I say ah. I thought A was the answer, but I didn't choose it. How do you know A? He says in our textbook now. You open the textbook and you saw it. The answer was A. You say, ah, and I wanted to take it all. Now, spirit of wisdom is not cut out to success. Spirit of wisdom is near near success syndrome. Spirit of wisdom is you don't know why, but you just do it. There is a push. You, you may not know why, but something is just moving you in the direction. It may be trial and error, but it becomes a trial that ends in success. Tonight, somebody's here. Spirit of error is rebuke over your life. You will begin to make the right decisions. I can't hear your amen when I say you will begin to make the right decisions. If you believe it, let your amen sound like thunder. See, there are many of us who are product of bad decisions. And there are many of us who are product of good decisions. If some people are to counsel you, they will say, ah, please, don't let people marry for you. Some people will say, mm, if you remain one second, or on the wedding day, you can say you don't want to do it again. No? I've been there, oh, but I don't want to, to have experience of lack of wisdom. Mm, you don't hear what I said. I don't want you to have experience of lack of wisdom. That somebody say, ah, I wish I took that job when they offered me. You know, some jobs, some companies are not doing well until something happened. And the people that were there when there was nothing, they are the ones that got exploded in the company. But somebody was not patient enough to stay. And when they exploded, you want to come back? No, they won't accept you because you left them when they were nothing. I pray for somebody tonight. Decision you will take. That your destiny will open up. I decree and declare. Receive wisdom in the name of Jesus. Please be seated because I don't have time. Let's run. And there is a teacher within. Oh, you know we used to sing a song in this church. Teacher, teach me all I need to know. 
Say, teacher, teacher. Say, teach me, teach me. All I need to know. Say, you are the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God. I see you walking by. Say, you are the Holy One. Say teacher, teacher, say teach me, teach me. Let me ask you a question. Who told Anna, vow, can put an end to barrenness? What she has been looking for all her life is in one wisdom. Lord, if you give me and we give it back. Don't forget, nobody has vowed before Anna. So she didn't read it in the book. It must be Holy Ghost. If what God asks you to do, nobody has done it before. Whose book will you read? Can I ask you a question? How did Joseph know how to interpret it? How can he interpret it to seven years? Can he interpret it to days of abundance and days of scarcity? How? How about Daniel? A man had a dream and he said, I forgot. And then he said, Give me some time. I say, I'm coming back. He came. He did, no, he's not asking for interpretation. He said, You tell me my dream and my interpretation. That's not the one that moved me. God used his hand to write on the wall, not in the language of the Chaldeans, not Babylonian language, not the language of any man. He wrote on the wall with his own language. And Daniel came and said, this is what is written on the wall. And this is the interpretation. Family, there is a spirit in man. And the breath of the Almighty gives him understanding. He said, I thought age should teach wisdom. I thought experience should inform man on what to do. Let no man bamboozle you by telling you you need experience to know how to do a thing. When you have the spirit of the Holy Ghost within you, I pray tonight that somebody is receiving impartation of the spirit of God in wisdom. Somebody is trading forex, losing money every day. But when one boy sits in front of it, he goes and they say, what is he doing? What is he doing? Somebody told me something. He said in crypto, there are people that sell signals. He said there's a particular lady. If he gives you signal, he said, Pastor, it's 80% legit. I said, how did he know it? He said, I said, does he trade? He said, no. The only thing she does is give signal. He said, a subscription is expensive. Oh. He said, but if he tells you do it and you do it, it will become successful. Family, I've come to tell you something. There is a spirit that can place you in a position where others look up to you. What they are confused about is a clarity in your front. See, nobody sees the right way and follows the wrong way. Nobody knows the way and asks for direction. And can I tell you something? If you don't know the way, you may get there, but it will be longer. All those times you are stopping. Excuse me, what's the way to? What's the way to? What's the way to? You can just navigate and go straight. I pray for you tonight. Cannot supam the bayata. The spirit of wisdom will rest mightily upon you. Oh, that amen is so correct. If you believe it, let your amen show you somebody. If you believe it, let your amen show you somebody. How did Joshua know a shout can sing the wall of Jericho? How? How we rod part the sea? Rod. But application of the spirit of God and wisdom. A woman. The child was to be taken into captivity because the husband owed. Yet the solution to her problem was in her hands, but she did not know. But a prophet knew and said, this is what you need to do. See, that thing that the prophet knew that that widow did not know is what makes the proof prophet superior to her. Now I want to walk and live in the realm of superiority. Your business can grow. That ministry can grow. That career can have a turnaround. If you know what to do. There is a spirit in man and the breath of the almighty gives him understanding. I pray for somebody tonight. You will never walk in confusion again. Oh, you didn't hear me. I said you will never walk in confusion again. I said you will never walk in confusion again. If you believe the let you ever show you somebody. When Joseph finished, 
Pharaoh said, can we find a man in whose is the spirit of God? Who told Pharaoh that this is the spirit of God? He knew this can only come from God. I said that to pray prayer. That thing that men will look at and say, this can only be the spirit of God. Will become evident in your life now in the name of Jesus. Every business going down. Every marriage in catastrophe. I prophesy to you tonight. Uh, the spirit of wisdom is taking you out of the problem in the name of Jesus. He said, My people are cast off restraint. Without vision, they are cast off restraint. In the place, they perish without vision. The meaning of it is that when a man lacks wisdom, you lose God, you misbehave, you do what you are not supposed to do, you slap those you are supposed to embrace. You welcome those you are supposed to refrain from. But there's a spirited man. A man came to toast you and all he's saying, you have a knowing on your inside. This man is nice, but my journey is not in his hand. I pray for somebody under the sound of my voice. Sir. The spirit of wisdom will rise over your life tonight. The spirit of wisdom will rise over your life tonight. If you believe it, let's him and show it. Sir. Elisha was under the tree. Probably eating guru. Those guys shouted, Alas, master. Those who will shout in life are the people that lack wisdom. But there's always a man at rest. The man was lying down under the tree. When they were screaming and jumping everywhere, the question he asked is, Where did he fall? And he said, Pick a stick and throw it there. He didn't leave where he was. But we said, The axe and swam back. He said, Throw stick. He didn't say, Let me come there. He didn't say, Axe float. He didn't turn. He didn't read the Bible to it. He said, Throw the stick. He knew what to do. From today, the anointed to know what to do will rest on you. The anointed to know what to do will rest on you. If you believe let your amen sound like thunder. See, if you ever see people who are, learn who are learners, a little thing, maybe a noise. They can bunch accelerator instead of brake. He said, I thought I was marching brake. It's because you don't know. When you know, sir. Sir, when you know how to make money, money will not be a mystery. When you know what marriage is all about, you will not be fighting your husband every day. There is a spirit in man. And the breath of the almighty. But we say the spirit of man is the candle light of the Lord. In other words, God has a flashlight. When things are dark, there is an illumination in your spirit. I pray for somebody tonight again. You start walking in confusion in the name of Jesus. Oh, that amen is so correct. If you believe it, let your amen sound like thunder. Can I blow your mind again? I'm running because of time. You know the Bible recorded that the children of Israel were supposed to be for 70 years in captivity. The Bible said Daniel knew before time. How did he know? How did he know? I mean you are in your house and God is discussing national issues with you. I mean in your house, God is telling you this scripture will gain value. Go for it. I'm telling you, you are in your house. God is telling you this business you do well. Go for it. As a pastor, I don't want you to waste your time running after what others waste their time on. You can do this, you can do this, you can do this. There is something to do that will better your life. There is something to do that will move you forward. You will not be your mismate because you have access to what your mate does not have access to. I pray for somebody tonight. Uh, let the spirit of God, the wisdom, rest mightily upon you. Let the spirit of God, the wisdom, rest mightily upon you. Pastor, this ministry will have been no more. I was packing my bag going to Lagos to start another church. The church was one big, one tarpaulin at the corner. And that morning, I came to lift up my hand. We've gotten a facility in Isolo, somewhere around Jack and the Estate. At, uh, at, uh, yes, at, uh, at Egbeda. Nice place. I love the place. I was like, okay, let's. I, re I remember it was 1.5 million, a warehouse. I said, let's pull it together. We can even buy this warehouse. I'm talking about some, some maybe nine, ten years ago. GSC was just about four, five years for four or three years. I wanted to explode the, all the branches, sharp, sharp. And as I was praying here to leave, God just said, look at the building. I look. He said, there's no building here. I said, what do you mean? He said, if you leave, you will not meet it again. I said, I won't meet what? You know, I was driving into this place. I see what, see what I would have lost by carelessness. I thought I was serving the Lord. Sir, there is something called a wrong zeal. You can be running 1670 in the wrong direction. You are sent to Lagos. You pick up your car. Even if you drive the fastest car in the world and you face it, but you are still in the wrong direction. 
Kato sopra nige. Some people carry anointing, but heading for the wrong destination. Who's pushing you into a wrong destination? What is that spirit of error often over your destiny? That say you will not make the right choice. You will not make the right choice in marry. That say you will not make the right choice in career. That say you will not stay in one place. That say you should be jumping here and there so that your length of your success will be low, will be a, will be longer, will, 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 will be stretched up. But I stand as a prophet of God on this altar. I decree and declare. Receive the spirit of God in wisdom. Receive the spirit of God in wisdom. You know what Jesus said? If you read as I level, he said, Bible says to rot, there shall come a rot from the step of Jesus. You know what we stand inside him? Out? The spirit of God will be upon him. Remember what? The spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and might. The spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. Now, if you look at all the things mentioned, they are all routed under the spirit of wisdom. What we stand this man heart is yet to be wisdom. You know, Jesus was in a tight corner. He had 5,000 people. He had five loaves and two fish. Now we say he looked up. In other words, he searched for wisdom. This thing can be multiplied. There's a way to turn this thing around. Where have you been stuck? What is not working? Where have you been crying? What have you been struggling with? All you need tonight is the Spirit of God and worship. I have come with the anointing of the Lord. I have come with an impartation tonight. And I decree and I declare. By the time you get to December, your result will have been different by wisdom. 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 Pastor, what stand you at in the city knowing what to do? Knowing what to do, knowing where to go, knowing who to talk to. I prophesy tonight. Uh, every young man, every young woman, under the sound of my voice, I say, receive the spirit of God in wisdom. If you believe in Roy Amen like thunder, somebody shout wisdom. Shout it loud and say wisdom. Please help me. I can't hear myself. I say wisdom. Shout it loud and say wisdom. Come on again, say wisdom. Put your right hand on your head and say, Spirit of wisdom, rest upon me. Shall they rest upon me? Shall they rest upon me? Shall they rest upon me? You know what I saw? I saw something amazing in First Kings 18. You know, if you read it in James, he said, We all are like, have the same passion with Elijah. He said, He prayed so that it didn't rain. It didn't rain. He said, He prayed so that it rained and it rained. Excuse me, sir. It was not just prayer. You know what he did? The Bible said, When all the prophets of Bala tried and nothing worked, the first thing he repaired the order. He said, Give me 12 stones. He set up 12 stones. He said, Dig around it. He said, Pour water. Wisdom was telling him what to do. For rain to fall, bring what is the scarcest and pour on the altar. God will already give you an instruction. That is what is called wisdom. With the Moses, why are you standing before the Red Sea and crying to me here? Yeah. Moses, you lack wisdom. That is why you are crying. Those who lack wisdom in life will cry. Those who lack wisdom in life will see their mates ahead of them. Those who lack wisdom in life uh, they are stagnant uh, but there is a spirit in man i like it because i carry the country of the lord uh, what god uses for his illumination is my spirit whatever adam name anything you know, because there is a wisdom in adam he can see the mind of god and know uh, what god will call it him you know, what is god calling the economy what are you calling him you know, who is god calling your husband you know, are you calling him a boyfriend you know, who is god calling your business partner are you calling him your husband you must call him the name God calls him. You must call out the name God calls him. By the spirit of wisdom. All the anointing is in this room tonight. How many are hungry for the spirit of God in wisdom? The ability to know. The ability to know. The knowing grace is coming upon you tonight. It's coming upon you tonight. It's coming upon you tonight. Somebody shout this upon me. How do you know as a copper you should not leave that city when you finish serving? Most especially even during service here, you are squatting. Until now, you see does not have a job and you see does not have accommodation and it's the place you must be. 
How do you say yes to a man who is jobless today? And God said, that is your husband. How do you continue on a business that is not yielding today? And God says, stay with it. My wife spoke about staying power. So many people are chicken out of destiny because they lack endurance to it. You like the Indomie kind of result, but you forget that uh, if you get it in the milli, uh, the value is not like the other uh, family. I know this like I know my name. Uh, God said, I should come with this anointing tonight, and I come as a saint. One, uh, he said, Joshua, the son of Nun, was full of the spirit of God and wisdom because Moses laid his hand on him, and the Bible said the Israelite obeyed him. Nobody obeyed the foolish man. Uh, Nobody listen to a foolish woman. The reason you are the back uh, is because you don't have the substance that people can touch. Uh, I prophesy, uh, young men, listen to me. Your head will begin to boil in wisdom. 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 If your beloved like to ever sound like You know why I like this in the book of Exodus? Mo the Lord appeared to Moses. He said, pick Bezali, pick this, pick that. He said, you know what? I have filled them uh, with the spirit of God in wisdom. Uh, there is a tax the wisdom of man can do it. The Bible calls something the wisdom of this world. Uh, we're not talking about chronic craftiness. Uh, I'm not talking about smartness. Uh, as a matter of fact, it chose the foolish things uh, of this world uh, to confirm them that are wiser. Uh, I'm talking about ideas that are stupid. Uh, I'm talking about creativities that look like it's rubbish. Uh, but God will use rubbish uh, to rubbish the devil in his intelligence. That uh, was said to the ancient now, the manifold wisdom of God. Uh, we have been made known by the church of the principalities of power. You cannot be in the house of wisdom and lack wisdom. I prophesy your night. Shalagaya. I just had a word. Uh, the next campus of GSC shall be called the house of wisdom. I prophesy your night. Uh, everywhere you are under the sound of my voice. Uh, as a child, as an adult, wherever you are, the says, man of God, the wisdom. You know, Isaac will have been lost out of destiny until he had God say, stay in this land. He packed his bag. He said, this place was dry. I want to follow my father's example. I want to follow what my father did. And he was going. And it was so amazing that God didn't say anything to him. It seems to me, God to the gate. God said, where are you going? He said, I'm going to Egypt. It's a greener pasture. The Lord said, yes, sir. I didn't say you will not make it in Egypt. But let me talk to you about your father. Your father made it in Egypt. But he carried the problem along. The Bible recorded to us that he lied that his wife was his sister. So the man took him as a wife. So they paid him bright price. And one of the bright price they gave to him was Hagar. They took Hagar, the Egyptian lady, as a maid. They dashed him from Egypt. Hey! But Hagar corrupted his destiny. But Hagar corrupted his life. But Hagar corrupted his calling. Hagar was the definition of all the wrong things that happened in the life of Abraham because he went to Egypt. Isaac, I don't want you to follow your father. I don't want you to follow his hero. He messed things up. You stay in the land I will show you. I will say, stay in the land. He dug a well. He found water. What does dog? They couldn't find it because wisdom is digging. They don't know that well. They're still alive now. More than 4,000 years. They are still digging from the well because it was wisdom that dug it. They didn't dig it with machine. It was not a bow over. It's not a tiny center. Something will come from you that will be transgenerational in the name of Jesus. Something will come on you tonight that will be transgenerational in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, shout it loud. Amen. Somebody say wisdom. Jesus did not carry the bread. I say, Father, kata kata kata. No, I will say lifted it up. He gave times. I said, take it and share wisdom. I will say, he knew what to do. That while you will know that that thing was not a fluke, he didn't do it once. He did it twice, at least recorded in the Bible. With the same principle. Father, I pray for your children. I pray for the house of GSE and everyone that newly connected to us. Father, and thou was with the spirit of God in wisdom. And thou was with the spirit of God in wisdom. 
endow us with the spirit of God and wisdom. Endow us with the spirit of God and wisdom. If you believe it, shout it loud. Amen, somebody. Somebody shout wisdom. Wisdom say, I am a man. As a matter of fact, they call themselves a woman who has a womb. Because wisdom carries a womb of creativity. It's always pregnant of ideas. It's always pregnant of the next level. There are some of you here. You can't sleep at night. Ideas are everywhere on your head. That is wisdom. It shall come to pass on that day. In the latter days. I'm talking about the end times. I will pour my spirit upon all flesh. And one of the evidence of the manifestation. Is revelation. What is revelation? A reveal of what is cast up. A reveal of what they don't know the Bible recorded to us that in the time of Samuel the word of God was cast but shortly after I would say and the Lord revealed himself to Samuel in Shiloh and he did not cause any of his words to fall to the ground he speaks it he says it because there is a man rising here who is rising after the order of Samuel who will say things before you say it he said Jeremiah what did you see here? He said, I saw a number of trees. He said, yes, sir. You have seen right. Uh, men are rising in the usual dimension of wisdom. In the name of Jesus, your businesses will stand out. Uh, your career will stand out. Uh, your academics will stand out. Uh, in your place of what do we know that something is upon you? If I'm talking about to shout a loud amen, somebody. Somebody say, I carry the spirit of God in wisdom. They give you a task. It takes them 10 hours. 10 minutes you are done. You just know what to do. You just know where to go. You just know a client to call. Kalata Haya. I was in City of David. And a man was giving a testimony. That he goes to work twice a week. He goes on Wednesday and Thursday. He said Monday he swims. He said Wednesday he goes to the gym. He says, oh, which other day? And he was a lawyer. He said, there's no deal he got that is not in billions. It was in the city of David. The labor of the foolish weary them because they don't know. The problem is not they are not anointed, it's they don't know. You are anointing without knowing, we end up in annoyance. Don't tell me how much you pray in the Holy Ghost. Tell me the wisdom you downloaded when you are praying. Don't tell me how much you fasted. Tell me the wisdom you downloaded when you are fasting. We will no longer men who will be in the 90 days. We will no longer have men who will not know what to do. I stand with a strange anointing in this room tonight, like we have never seen before. TSC get ready because unusual wisdom is being deposited tonight unusual wisdom is being deposited tonight they will answer the enemy at the gate we will take over the military we will take over the media we will take over the health sector we will take over the education i don't know the field where you belong in ministry wherever you are i declare that taking over grace is coming on you by wisdom if i'm talking about you say yes lord Thank you, Lord. I close. The Bible says Jesus breathed on his disciples. <laughs> Receive the Holy Ghost. They say breathing upon. Because that was what he did to Adam. <laughs> the next thing we saw, whatever Adam named anything. You can't be anointed and be foolish at the same time. No, it's not synonymous. No more stupid decisions from today. Who told you to rent a place where you rented it? Who instructed you? Who led you there? He said, Your voice shall hear the word behind you saying, This is the way. Walk in them. When you turn to the left and when you turn to the right, there are many voices in the world. But none of them is without significance. My sheep hear my voice and they know it. And the voice of a stranger, they will not follow. Many of us, we have never listened to one ghost voice in our life. You have been hearing, but you have never obeyed. Maybe the last ghost instruction you report, you obey was 10 years ago. After that time, you've been making wrong decisions. You've been following the voice of a stranger. But I decree, after tonight, your ear will hear the right word in the name of Jesus. How can God pay? For what he did not order the devil has ordered so many things in our life and we are here struggling 
but no more. Oh, I said no more. Oh, I said no more. Shout it loud, I said no more. What happened to distinction and first class? Must a child of God graduate with third class? What happens to producing your fruit in your season? The year you graduate is the year you have admission. Some people are even in your life to help you. But the spirit of error will make you misbehave there. I live in an uncle's house. And anytime we go, my mom will say, what you are looking for is what you focus on. Not how early they got there. Focus on the purpose. Not your friend that has gone ahead. No, you know what? I can move faster than them because they are younger. But guess what? I have a God who will judge, not judge their success with my success because we don't have equal strength. So you cannot use another person's resource to judge your journey. Focus on the egg. Focus on the assignment. That is what the Spirit of God wisdom is doing. It will make you focus on the assignment so much that it cannot fall. You won't fall in marriage. You won't fall in career. Because your eyes is on the goal. That will say for the joy that was set before it. For the joy that was set before him, it despised the ship. They cursed him, it despised him. They lied out against him, he refrained from them. Why? For the joy that was set. There is a focus on something, laying aside every way. And the sin that easily be said, looking unto, looking unto. That is what the spirit of wisdom will help you to do. I prophesy to that. From today, you will love your assignment. From today, you will love your calling him. From today you will love your purpose. You will love your wife. You will love your husband. You will love your children. Your eye will be on the go. If you believe the shout and loud amen, somebody. What if men do not believe? Let every man be a liar, but God be truth. Romans 33. Let every man be a liar, but God be true. I can I tell you something? Fact is real. Fact is real. But you are not saved by fact, you are saved by the truth. What is the truth? Wisdom. Wisdom is truth. You just know what to do. That is truth. You wake up in the manual of the night. Holy Spirit said, fast for 40 days. You fasted for 40 days, heaven open. Holy Spirit said, do this. Bishop of the church was not growing. And he entered into fasting and prayer for three days. On the third day, I said, my son, get up. And he stood from the altar. He said, come out. He came out. He took him to the back of the church. He said, my son, look up. And he looked up. He said, what do you see? He said, I see a thick darkness. He said, that is the cloud. Me sit up, the message in this church. There are people who are hearing it and they are not coming. He said, command it to disappear. And he said, you foul spirit. Get out. And he said, I saw you roll away like a bear. And he said, God said, yes, sir. He said, now keep showing the seed of the world. For he naked them to lie down in great pasture. And we cause men to come and see. He enter a place to go and pray and deal. And he put a title on it. Come and see. Boom. We not shall be exploded. Because a man, wisdom was downloaded to him on the third day of fasting and prayer. What is fasting with that direction? Nah. What is waiting upon the Lord with that instruction? Nah. How can you come for 12 days of glory and you return back the same way you came? You don't even know what God wanted you to do. You are more confused than you used to be. Never. I stand as a prophet of God. Carry you on my shoulder. If I have ever operated in any wisdom in my life, I decree and declare. Let the grace flow to you now. Let the grace flow to you now. If your pillow the shout aloud, there is somebody. I've joined my friends to do things. He didn't say they are sin ways. He didn't say they are dead demonic ways. For you, it's not the way. For your own here, shall hear. It is not a general word. It's sent a word. For your own ear shall hear. When God was speaking to Moses, up, he was the only one hearing it. The reason they were all complaining was because they were not hearing what is hearing. The reason everybody's complaining is because nobody's hearing. Men, listen to me, especially those of you who are married. May God give you a wisdom today that your children's children will live from it in the name of Jesus. If you tell them to shout aloud, amen, somebody. Lift up your hand wherever you are. I say, Lord, I want impartation of the spirit of God and wisdom. Go ahead. I give you one minute. I 
and he made millions in one month. I prophesy to somebody. The days of foolishness has come to an end in your life. The days of error has come to an end in your life. If not, why will the sons of the king be trekking? Servants will be riding on horses. The many of the servants are unbelievers. But believers lack results. The only place we have evidence of God is when we come to church and we are speaking in tongues and worshiping. See the thickness of the worship. It's as if the roof wants to remove. But if it does not translate in wisdom, what is the point? Jesus went to the mountain. That we say he returned in the power of the Spirit. Many people are returning more in ignorance. They are returning more in lack. No. Father, this ministry must work. What is the way out? Sir? Father, this career, I must make an headway. What is the way out? Sir? Lord, I cannot deal with this kind of finance or again. What is the way out? How many people are asking what is the way out tonight? I declare and declare in your sleep. Huh? When you pick your Bible, when you are awake, God will talk to you. God will talk to you. Receive the way out. If you believe it, let's him and show you somebody. Amen. Time is a cheat. But it's on you already. Because as he speaks to me, the spirit entered it. Your decision from today. You may not know what is. Some of you will be saying something. But that's the Holy Ghost. That's the Holy Ghost. And you will hear it and you will do it in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Come and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Voice was shy with a voice of time. Amen.